The city of Conway and Keep Conway Beautiful are continuously working on cleaning up litter as well as studying it and finding ways to save the waterways. With the help from a grant from Palmetto Pride, there's now a water goat in the Crabtree Canal. News 13's Jennifer Blake shares how this effort in Conway could be beneficial for other parts of the Grand Strand. The water goat system is pretty simple, but it has a very important job, keeping the waterways clean. It's collecting litter before it gets into the oceans and hurts any animals. It's one more piece to the puzzle. The puzzle of ending litter. The latest piece to cleaning up litter is a water goat. It's a line buoy that has like a, a net attached to it with a chain. So it kind of just floats across the Crabtree Canal. This water goat is set up to trap any debris or litter from flowing farther down the Waccamaw River. Each water goat is made specifically for its location and can be emptied in about two hours. We'll coordinate between Keep Conway Beautiful volunteers emptying it out um, and city employees emptying it out, um, depending on how often it gets um, full. It's not the first to be installed in South Carolina and won't be the last. The Palmetto Pride organization provided a grant for 25 to be installed throughout South Carolina. Water goat systems already installed have stopped over 300 tons of debris from getting into the ocean, according to the Palmetto Pride website. The litter control coordinator with Keep Conway Beautiful, Nevada Malore, believes this is a good invention for the Grand Strand. Obviously, the, the Waccamaw River is huge, and there are many places that it could be beneficial. So I would like to see more in the future. Melora hopes this brings more attention to the effects of litter. Not only is it going to bring awareness about the types of litter that, that are ending up in the canals and the waterways, but also ultimately how it affects the ocean and how the microplastics are um, an issue in, in our oceans and for our wildlife. Find out how you can keep our area beautiful on our website, wbtw.com. Reporting in Conway, Jennifer Blake, News 13.